We're here at the uh, Richard Crane 2011 Tractor Tractor Show, and we're here talking with uh, Eric Shadig. Eric, could you tell me a little bit about this engine we're standing next to? Uh, I believe it's reconditioned. Absolutely. Well, this particular engine had a, a roughly uh, about 800,000 miles on it when we pulled it down, and we strip it all the way down to the bare block. Uh, all the components come off of it. Uh, all the reman components, such as the turbocharger, the oil cooler, um, the camshaft, all those components end up getting replaced, including the cylinder packs, uh, injectors, it, it, all seals and gaskets end up being gone through and uh, replaced. We end up, when we're finished with the product and we, and we sell it to the customer, it uh, carries a four-year unlimited mileage warranty. Um, we also offer 0% financing for two years for the customer to make it affordable for the owner-operators. Um, this particular engine is going into a, a Western Star uh, um, over-the-road uh, truck for um, a logging application. Um, and it will it'll probably be installed in the middle of next month when the glider comes in. Um, these, we were looking at these filters as well, and I had just had a customer ask me just a few minutes ago about uh, our filters versus the competitor's filters. And, and I explained to him, I said, Caterpillar builds filters to protect their systems. Uh, filter companies build filters to sell filters. So if you cut open a, a cat filter and you cut open a, 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 another filter company that just sells filters, you'll, you'll notice the difference, absolutely hands down. Um, is there any, any questions? Well, on that questions? filter, how many, about how many miles would you get off a cat filter versus maybe your competitor's filter? Well, it depends on, depending on the duty cycle of the engine. Um, over the road trucks, long haul trucks are changing their oil between 15,000 and 25,000 miles. Uh, gravel haulers, uh, log trucks that are um, in and out of the, the field quite a bit that uh, do a lot of idle time. Um, those trucks are roughly getting around six to 8,000 uh, mile oil change intervals. However, their hours are quite a bit more because they idle quite a bit. Um, and, and they actually can to, to unload their product and load their product. Yeah. Can, you, can you use uh, synthetic oil? And, and absolutely, like okay. absolutely. Synthetic oil, we, we recommend a, a CJ uh, a cert certified oil and a CJ4 oil rather, um, which would be a 15W40. You can run a 1030 oil in it as well. Um, but yeah, synthetic is, is definitely an option for the customer if that's what they choose to run. Okay. Now, you, you rebuild these engines. Now, what's the, uh, the average mileage that you would, between what and what would you suggest someone maybe rebuild an engine? Well, they... typically, typically an engine, uh, of this particular engine, they usually run about 800,000 miles, 700, 800,000 miles, and depending on the maintenance program. If they take good care of their engine, typically uh, they last them 800 to a million miles. I have a customer out there currently uh, his truck is just pushing um, over a million two, wow. and he has not tore it apart yet. Um, we put rod bearings and main bearings in it just as a, a precaution, and they look pretty decent, but he's changing his oil every 12,000 miles, and he's an over-the-road truck, uh, running 150,000 plus a year okay. in mileage. Now, on, on your rebuild engines, uh, what's the, the lifespan uh, after the rebuild, uh, typically? Well, the lifespan on, on a typical overhaul, you're, you're getting the, your, all your factory benefits of uh, cat factory parts, um, and you should be able to push that million mile mark again with no problems. Um, we carry a four year unlimited mileage warranties on these engines as I earlier mentioned. Um, and so it's ideal for teams if they're running these trucks, if they put 300,000 miles on a year, um, at the end of four years, it's a million two. Um, you know, that engine is, is darn near wore out. However, the warranty is still, still there to carry them through just in case something does happen. Okay. And, and if someone's interested in, in pricing on something like that, who do they contact? They contact myself or any of the branches. Um, and uh, I'd be more than happy to, to put a price quote together on paper uh, and work with them and uh, explain what we do exactly do in depth, bring them through our facilities and show them these engines as they're ripped, at a ripped down state, uh, to the completely disassembled and to the reassembly process. Now, where are your locations here in Michigan? Our locations in Michigan, uh, are northern Michigan or Kalkaska. Um, we have another location in Saginaw, another one in Grand Rapids, Macomb, uh, Metro South, um, and Novi, and we do have uh, a, a few satellite stores, in Lan one in Lansing, one in Kalamazoo as well, that we run our field service out of. Sounds great. Hey, well, thank you very much, Eric. Absolutely, thank you. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Bye now.